Champ Graphics. Um, I'll just be showing you how to add a watermark using After Effects and Photoshop. Um, so basically, we'll just get straight into it. Open Photoshop, File, New, and you want a international paper, um, and then change the width to 420 millimeters to 297 height millimeters. Um, yep, just hit OK. And then this is basic, this is just for the people with it who don't have um, a PNG background. So um, we're gonna open just get your logo. It's right here. Drag it on there. All right, can Command T will actually go so you can free transform it. And then shift and drag out on the corner to keep it at its original image and still the same. Um, I want a bit bigger than that. And then just enter. Alright, so it's nice in the middle. Um, now, see the eyeball on the background? You want to get rid of that. So now it's a transparent background. And. That's basically all you need to do in Photoshop. Um, save as, I'll just save it as champ watermark. And then uh, what you need to do is put it in the format of a PNG, and that'll just give it its transparent background. Um, yeah, let's save it. Interlace, you want none. Click OK. Computer might be a bit slow. It's being a faggot. Alright, yep, done. Press that shit. Um, now I'm gonna, yep, open After Effects. And what you're gonna do. So you're gonna go composition, new composition, um, comp composition name. I'm just gonna name it watermark. You can name it whatever you like, um, and just basically click, click OK because you can change this. You can change it all um, if you need to by pressing Control T. That's for Control um, right click. That's for Max. I don't know what it would be for PC. And then comp composition settings. Um, if you want to change it later, all right. So what you're gonna do? Um, just import a video. Any video, the video that you want. I'm just gonna choose this one. All right. Now just drag it into your um, timeline. Should be there. And then to render, you're just going to hit play and then it's just going to render. You don't really need to do that. Um, for now, you don't. Um, and then you're going to Im file, import, import file. Um, then just open the one that you just made and drag it into the timeline. And you're gonna move it above the color sphere, and just zoom out a bit, and resize it to how big you want. Zoom in again. I'm not gonna fucking have it that big. Um, resize it. Hold shift and drag in to keep it its original image like I said. Um yep, it's gonna have it like that. Motherfucker. Oh that's right. <laughs> um just click off that. Um yeah, and so now what you're gonna do, uh down here there's a little sideways arrow. You're gonna um put that, make sure you click it and then put, so it's down, then you see transform. Click that downward arrow, um, and then on a opacity, uh, 
you're going to want to just put the opacity down to about 30. It's still visible to see and what the hell is... Alright, it's right. I think I have two reds. Um, yeah, so that looks alright, just down there. Um, and make your PNG file the same size as your video. So that's there the whole time. Just play it, just to see if it's going to be there, which it will be, because I'm a boss. <laughs> Just kidding. Yep, you want to be gay, don't you? Alright, so that is basically it. I'm going to have um, a new, uh, uh, another tutorial about how to make um, a PNG intro so it, so you can still see your um, whatever, if something like, like what I have here and then you can still have your intro come over the top of it um, without the background or whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.